They can drop super bombs, by the way. I think, is it a 5% chance to drop super bombs? Yeah, 5% chance. Unfortunately, these guys just have way too many hit points to just get by with just like one PK freeze. But anyway, then that one we get the Goddess Bustier. So I want to give that to Pumatora. But that's why I have given her, that's why I gave him the Thud Charm. Basically, because she gets the goddess bustier, and uh, this is the negative man, by the way. The negative man has 2,238 hit points. And let's use a tickle stick on him. Do this a little faster. He doesn't do anything. I don't think he can even... He might be able to attack you, possibly. But I don't think he can. He's just a... There's nothing special about him. He's just... Well, he can draw... He has a 2% chance to drop Meteotype. But he only gives you 3 experience, and he gives you 50 DP. And he's just a weird enemy in a weird game. In this little room back here by himself. Alright. So we're going to do... We're just going to do two PK loves, I think. Instead of two PK freezes. Plenty of time to kill these guys before they blow up on you, but unfortunately, you just got to use a lot of PP to kill them. So I don't really like fighting them. But well, what are you gonna do? Like let them kill you? Let's eat these hot spring eggs. All right. No, we must be running fever. Have I mentioned how much I love the fever mechanic and think it adds just so much to the game? Just so much. So that's 460. Let's just try beating him to death now. I think I could do that, actually. Yeah, okay. Level 45. So now I'm going to learn PK. Uh, 45 is... Oh, shoot. Wait, what? What got me? Oh, mole. Uh, level 45 is shield, a PSI shield Omega. If I remember correctly. It would have been really handy in the barrier trio fight, but you know, hey, it's not a total waste because we got enough, we got other bosses coming up that are going to use a lot of PSI moves. Yep. Unfortunately, these little guys is drill. It's not a drill that will pierce the heavens. The enemies in here give a lot of experience, though. 
All right, so the enemy, um, let's see, I want to go north, I think. Yeah, this is the way to beat these guys right here. The way I have written down in my notes is way too uneconomical. Sticky slugs. They do. Cool. Oh, no, that's bull crap. So these sticky slugs are actually weak to fire, and they have 368 hit points. Uh, I'm going to use PSI Magnet on them. Give me some of that pee pee. Um, uh, I don't think Kumator is going to get another attack in, but we'll... oh, she did. Cool. Hey, ten pee pee. That's pretty good. Just a bunch of the little buggers in here. We're just gonna keep doing the same thing we've been doing. We're gonna. They have a five percent chance to drop saltwater guns. Interestingly, interesting thing about the saltwater guns is that they actually uh, can work on the slugs. They actually work on the slugs. Duster and Kumatora are immune to the... Yeah. Immune to the, uh... Sleep. Because she's got uh, that... She's got the ribbon on, and he has the Thud Charm, so... That I was not expecting to have. Well, that's... That's Jip. It's a Jip only getting two PP that last time. But, well, that gives me two, uh... Stripe Collar. A couple Life Noodles. Give that to Boney. Better armor for Boney is always appreciated. I probably wouldn't be needing to do this if I actually hadn't been being so uneconomical about my freeze usage. But whatever, it's fine. That's what PSI magnets for. Kumatora is actually not as of the three mage characters that you get in the Mother series. Uh, Anna, Paula, Kumatora. Kumatora actually has probably the highest attack of the three, so she's not a terrible attacker. And I think, is this just a dead end up here? I think it is, actually. Yeah, it's just a dead end. So we want to just melee this mole.
Awesome. Right in the middle of the bad guys. I appreciate that. Good job. Although it did. So these guys are very important. These are hefty heads. Hefty heads. Huh. <sighs> have 1864 hit points they are weak to ice but they drop the mystical stick so I definitely want to uh, take these bad boys out let's see what attacks do they have headbutt you for about 80 points of damage do about 60 points of damage to everybody and they got psycho counter alpha that they can cast okay so uh hopefully kumator is faster than they are if she is then i can get this off I use the tickle stick. Well, uh, let me stop that. Listen here. Listen here. We're gonna do that. These guys are something that I really want to farm the stick from. But... gonna have to go through here first though I want to just do that before the end of the chapter but not necessarily right this second I think there is alone. I think there's a better hefty head to farm than that one anyway. Yeah. Alright. First things first, we're going to eat a hot spring egg. I'm almost out. Got a nut bread, though. All right, so hefty head, let's see. We want to do a, let's do an offense up and then a freeze gamma and we will do a tickle stick and we will just attack. Okay, yeah, stop attacking poor Lucas. Gosh.
Nice. Okay. Come on, luck. No. Okay, no luck. But yeah, no, this is basically where you want to fight these guys. If you come over here, there's a chest. Get a magic tart. Learn shield omega. And... Get this guy over here. And we want to buy grilled chicken. Just fill our inventory with grilled chicken. We don't need this bantam charm. Let's see, I don't need this bantam charm. Uh, I don't need that. that. I don't need that. Real chicken. 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 Buy pencil rockets if I want. I don't really need the pencil rockets. And this is a good place for me to call it for tonight. Basically, I'm going to go get the mystical stick from the heavy head. Uh, and hefty head. The mystical stick. It's got 3% chance to drop. And I'm going to be getting that off screen. And I'll see you guys when I uh, return. Bye.